What's up you guys? So I just randomly got a feeling and I want to go to Home Depot and possibly some other places to go look for some dolly items. So what's let's up go. you guys? Welcome back to Adorable American Girls. I am actually at Home Depot right now because I have been watching so many dollhouse tours and especially American Girl Ashlyn. I was coming to see what exactly she used in her bathroom or to get an idea of something I want to use for my bathroom. And I found this tile, which is something that I think I want to get for the bathroom. I just came to look at the prices and they're $5.98 each. So I know you can measure by square foot and I don't even know how many square feet my dollhouse is. I guess that's something I'm gonna have to figure out. But I just wanted to show you guys, like if you do want your dollhouse to have like real tiles, this is some place you can come and get them. And this is how you would install them. Actually, I don't even know how you would install them. Contemporary, this is like the real deal stuff. It's actually quite heavy. I think this is the one I'm gonna come back and get one day. Possibly, let me see. Come here. They also have backsplash like this. That's kind of ugly. That's really ugly. I like this honeycomb. I don't know. I think this is the one. I think this is the one that. Well, I don't even know which one American Girl Ashley has in her bathroom, but I think it's really, really cute. This one's cute too, but I really like the white. More expensive one. So this one is $16.97. Just to give you an idea of how much this stuff really costs, you'll probably need about two or three of them. You can get quite pricey. It's really loud in here. Ouch, I just hurt my finger. And they're really, really heavy, you guys. Really, really heavy. This is like the real deal stuff. Oh my goodness. Pretty. So all these are really, really pretty. I also have like clear glass one. And I have the slightest idea on how to install these, you guys. They also have some tile over here, which is a lot um, cheaper. Let me see. Okay, so they also have these cheaper tiles over here. And they're eight cent. This is like real tiling. So cool, guys. All right, you guys, just an impromptu visit at um, Target. I just came just to see if they have anything new because honestly, they don't usually have anything new at this Target. But today, it looks like they have some different things. Looks like they're probably getting ready for Christmas. So, these are new. I haven't seen these before. These are super cute. And they have some of the new smaller sets, the micro soap. Is this new? I don't think that's new. This is new. Oh, it's like an old film camera. Somebody kind of opened it though. That's really old. This is actually an older set, but super cute, a lunch set. This is weird that they actually have them like this. They usually have them in like those little boxes. Always remember the key behind our generation items is to look behind everything. That's cute, like a little hair clip and jewelry set. This is cute. I don't like our generation's cupcakes. And here are some a look at some of the other sets at the top. They also have the retro gumball machine. This is cute. That's really cute to put in a doll room. You guys, I cannot believe it. They have the typewriter, you guys. I can't believe they have this. I have been looking for this for three years and I knew they would have it. One day when I don't plan on buying anything, they have it. I also found in the dollar section this 
um, sign. It says milkshakes. I, I saw it in the dollar section a while ago. I wanted to get the blue one and the pink one, but they only have the pink one. And I think I'm gonna do an ice cream thing in my kitchen, so I'm thinking about getting this. And now I'm seriously thinking about getting this. I actually really wasn't planning on getting anything like that today. New popcorn machine. This seems a really small. Look how small. This is so small though. Okay. You hear my children, they are loud as always. But I am in their section. So. Oh gosh, you guys, what to do? This is really cute. I mean, I really don't have a use for it. I used to love it for the aesthetics. I also love the gumball machine. This is so cute, you guys. Candy bag, what's in the candy bag? It's really cute. Okay, our generation, you have my attention again. Honestly, usually I'm just so bummed out they don't have anything. They also have the bunk bed set, which I think I'm thinking about getting because at currently at the moment I have three dolls and I could use another bed. They have lots of dolls at the top, including a boy. And let's see what else they have. New color kitchen, purple. I just love my American Girl kitchen so much. I like the purple though. But I have no need for a kitchen. They also have the food truck, which is really, really cute. I'm just really not into getting those super huge big items anymore. I went through a phase where I had to have them. And now I'm kind of don't feel like I have to have them anymore. Lots of, I remember when you could not find this set at all and now you they have four of them it's a really nice set to have though if you like to travel with your doll you can't really fit a lot of clothes in there but i have this set totally recommend super super cute and they have the school set as well i actually came to target looking for a small little miniature items they have some stuff here they also have the new that's not new they have the bike set it's really crowded in here today i don't know well it's a friday and it's very hot in texas so it's not like a day you want to be outside that's cute 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 oh my goodness you guys i cannot believe they had a typewriter set honestly like this would just add to a doll room that I'm building right now. Like really, really cute. <sighs> I don't like the photos though. I wish they had like the Polaroid camera like um, American Girl. They used to have a little bowling ball. That's cute for the bowling alley. No bowling alley though. This is cute. Kind of, not kind of. So cute guys. I actually really like this whole lunch set, but I feel like if I'm going to get something like this, I wouldn't mind getting the one from American Girl since they look so realistic and good. Have any of you guys found the new theater set in your um, Target yet? Leave a comment down below. I always start filming during the fall and winter seasons because the toy sections are so much better. I'm just trying to see if I should get that typewriter, but I don't think I will, but I think I'm gonna get this, you guys. All right, you guys, so in the school supply section, the locker section is such a good place to find um, doll size stuff. And I'm just getting so excited just looking at this. Look at this. This is a magnetic LED tassel light. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I think I need this. How much is it? Uh, something cool to buy because I am really turning my dollhouse into a more aesthetic vibe. So I feel like I need this. What is this? Is this it? I feel like that might be it. So I think this is $15. But it's so, so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, is there one that's like not messed up in there? I can't believe how aesthetic people's lockers are these days. I never cared about my locker because it was so 
far in between classes and it's just like who had time to go back to their locker i don't feel like people really use their lockers that much but this for the dollhouse would be so amazing i wonder how the light is in it i don't know i wanted to price check this because i really might be getting that also they have these really adorable um, magnetic hexagon mirrors which would be really cute to hang on your doll's wall they're super, super lightweight, so you can just stick it up with um, some sticky tape. They also have curtain pom-poms, but I make these. You can make them, or you can find them for cheaper, because they're $8.99. It's kind of expensive. And they also have one of these pom-pom magnets. I just feel like I want these for my fridge, to be honest. These are so cute, you guys. They also have these geo magnets. Super cute. Oh my gosh. There, but this is super cute too. This would be like a cute nightstand light. I have these LED lights that have like the gold trim around it for the super, super fancy people. Also found some fake plants. They also have these super cute little mini letter boards. Oh my gosh, this section is too cute, guys. Look. And these small little magnetic photo grids. Perfect size for your doll photos. And then when you're tired of your dolls, you can just put it on your refrigerator. <laughs> That's what I do. So cute. This really cool hexagon light. And it is also $14.99. so cute. We found the other um, ice cream sign. I was thinking about putting it in the kitchen. Super cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it yet. I'm walking around with things and debating. I really just came out to take a look at um, Home Depot. Where's the LOL section? Home Depot today. I just came to look at the tiles. Oh, I just dropped my phone. I came to look at the tiles and I came to look at the um did somebody take her out the box. Oh wow, she's so nice. This is MC MC Swag. So my daughter's really into LOLs. I honestly love them. How much is this? MC Sway. Kind of sexy though. I don't like how this one looks sexy. <sighs> anyway, but I came out. Oh, they got the furniture. Oh my gosh, they got these. No way. Are any of you guys into LOLs? I am so, I don't even want to show my daughter this because she's going to freak. Don't come down this way. All right, you guys, so I am finally back home, and I'm actually home empty-handed. I'm going to wait until next week to buy those cute little accessories that I saw at Target because sometimes they have sales, so I'm going to wait. But I just wanted to show you guys what my dollhouse is looking like with this super crooked picture here. Let me fix this. Okay, so I decided not to get anything because I'm going to come home and plan. I was about to go crazy in Target because that's what Target will do to you. But instead, I bought a very responsible purchase and I left. So <laughs> I am 
thinking right now, which light fixtures do I want to get and what all do I want to get for this dollhouse to make it feel and look the way that I want it to. As you can see, I am going for a very visco girl type of dollhouse and I'm just going to do another tour because um, that's why I went ahead and filmed the other one because this house is going to look so much different and it's just going to be super, super cute. Everything is definitely more aesthetic and um, just adorable. So I'm thinking about that plant that I saw. Um, I wanted to come home and just see if the space would fit, but I think if I turn the sofa like this and I can put that plant like right there in the corner. It won't be super, super tall, but maybe it'll be a pretty good height. So plant there. I think I'm going to get the wired looking. I'll insert a clip here. I'm going to get that fixture for this room. And um, I was thinking about the fringe one. Um, I have a canopy bed in here and it's just, I mean, unless I just, I could probably put it right here. So I'll probably get that for there. And I'm definitely going to get the um, grid. Um, not sure where the grid's going to go. But I was going to check on Amazon and see if they have a 6 by 9 grid on Amazon for way cheaper. That was $7. I felt like it was a bit pricey. And they also had a really, really cute mirror, which I'm thinking about putting um, in here. This is actually, um, I made like one of those poofs for the floor i'm not i'm not really sure about it what you guys think so it just kind of like lays on the floor like this um oops wrong side <laughs> nope that was the right side so yeah it's not perfect but i found this fabric at julian's it was very expensive um but i just felt like um this is exactly the type of fabric you would see with an ottoman with a small little poof like this and so um and then this ottoman, I just kind of, I don't even know what I'm doing with it now because I just, <laughs> I just moved it. So, but anyway, so yeah, um, so many changes have happened. And I was also thinking about the pink typewriter. I was thinking about putting the typewriter up here, but I just feel like it's going to take up so much space and... I don't want it to look cluttered. This doesn't even belong here, but I don't want it to look cluttered. It's already, it's already so much stuff on, on this little area. So that's why I wasn't sure if I wanted to get that. Um, and then I saw the ice cream photos I was gonna put on this wall, and I wanted the tile I saw to go on that wall. So I don't know. I was just kind of window shopping today, just trying to see what I like and I was very surprised to see those items at Target um so I'm really excited to go back and show you guys how I end up styling everything but what do you guys think about the dollhouse so far um I'm really 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 happy with it um I made some beach photos the other day so that sand one and this one also made this aloha pillow and uh, I'm just, I really love it. And I actually got this from a garage sale for like a quarter. So that's what that's looking like. And I just need some things on the wall. And like I said, I made this, but like I said, it's not perfect, but I'm trying to figure out where do I actually want to put it. Um, I usually used to have one of these in my house all the time. I just keep moving it room to room because I have no idea where it should go. Um, but yeah, so, and I still need to make some more pillows for the living room. So yeah, I just keep moving stuff around. I just move the ottoman back here. I just don't know exactly where I want everything, but I'm trying to think about um, the living room. Um, I made this really pretty like mustard colored pillow. Very, very trendy. I think I, I have some other fabric. I'm gonna make a pillow like fringe and then get that, um, maybe put the hanging fringe one in here and then put the wire one in here. I'm not sure. Um, so, so many options. Now this Netflix pillow, I kind of don't even want it in there. But I have no clothes on them because I sold all of my aesthetic looking clothes because I have new plans for them. 
So stay tuned for that. I might be like vlogging it or something. I'm not, I don't like DIY, so I'm not a DIY channel. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is up here really weird and it's about to fall. I also need to get like more hooks and stickies and all types of stuff. Um, I actually really don't like this wall hanging. Um, I just want it to be pink and white. This was one I made about a month ago. Um, as you can see, yeah, I definitely changed so much stuff, you guys, <laughs> since the dollhouse tour. So stay tuned for more videos <laughs> because obviously I'm addicted to just decorating and um, I like to practice with small scale decorating and I'm really trying to like get my dollhouse back to where I just look at it and it looks nice. So, cause I just, I don't know. I just changed my whole aesthetic of how I want to do things, but yeah, so. All right, so I am, it's Friday. Um, I'm going to try and edit this video. I've been editing a lot lately, so so hopefully I don't get too tired. Um, isn't this bed so cute, you guys? This set is so adorable. I actually um, knitted this piece and then sewed it. I was just so in the mood to make stuff and I made this canvas photo. So cute, huh? Yeah, but anyway, there's like spots on the wall. Anyway, not perfect, but love 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 so what do you guys think about all the cool finds we found today what do you think i should buy and stay tuned to my channel for the next upload which will definitely be me um putting some of those things that i found today in the dollhouse all right i'll talk to you guys later bye